Hi, you two. Welcome to your 10 minute grammar lesson. So we've been recapping what we know about nouns, adjectives, verbs and adverbs over the last two weeks. Let's see what you can remember. I hope you are ready with a whiteboard and pen or a piece of paper to write the answers down. What type of word is this? Running. What type of word is the word running? Now, with any questions like this, I need to remind myself which what each word type is. So a noun, a noun I know is a name, place or thing. Running isn't a name, place or thing. Adjective. Oh, now an adjective is a describing word. Running isn't describing anything, so it's not an adjective. Verb. What's a verb again? That's right. It's a doing word. Running is a verb. Let's see if you can do the next one by yourself. What type of word is this? Awesome. Is it a noun, adjective, verb or adverb? Brilliant. Well done. It is an adjective. The awesome superhero saved the world. What type of word is this? Carefully. Hmm. Carefully. There's a little clue at the end of my word that might help me remember if I'm unsure. Carefully is an adverb. Brilliant. It describes a verb. I opened the door carefully. I jumped carefully. What type of word is this? Strong. Is it a noun, adjective, verb, or adverb? Brilliant, it's an adjective. It is a describing word. It's describing me, of course. And what type of word is this? Table, hmm, table. Is it a noun, adjective, verb, or adverb? Of course, it's a noun, it's an object. So it's a name, place or thing. It's a thing. Okay, time for some, find the missing word. Are you ready? Keep playing with your whiteboards and pens or your paper. So choose the missing word to complete the sentence. Now the best way to do this is to read the sentence with each of the words. So. Let's try the first one together. The cup superhero saved me. What? That sounds so silly. The quietly superhero saved me. No, I don't think so. The table superhero saved me. That doesn't make sense, does it? The amazing superhero saved me. That's right. It's amazing. The amazing superhero saved me. Okay, let's see if you can do this one by yourselves. I like to watch TV. I also like to read books. Hmm. Let's read them together. I like to watch TV because I also like to read books. That doesn't really make sense. I like to watch TV, so I also like to read books. No, I like to watch TV and I also like to read books. That makes sense, but I'm just gonna see if the last word is even better. I like to watch TV if I also like to read books. No. The missing word is, of course, and. Okay, each day I, something, my long hair in the morning. This one's a bit tricky. 
What is the missing word? Let's read them together. Each day, I brushing my long hair in the morning. Each day, I brush my long hair in the morning. Each day, I brushed my long hair in the morning. Did you get it right? It is brush. Each day, I brush my long hair in the morning. Brilliant. You guys are so good at that. Now, it's time for Mrs. Foley's mistakes. I even made a mistake in one of the slides, but shh. Okay, we learn from our mistakes, guys. They're good. Remember that. So there are four mistakes today, guys. Oh, dear. Let's see if you can help me. Okay. I really like January because it sometimes snows because I also like the sunshine in July. Hmm. Let's see what my mistakes are. So. I have a capital letter at the start of my sentence. Good for me. I really liked, oh, here we are. January. What's wrong with my January? That's right, I haven't used a capital letter and I should be using capital letters for all of my months of the year and my days of the week. So that's my first mistake. Let's carry on. I really like January because it sometimes snows because I also like, oh, that sounds a bit strange. It doesn't sound like my sentence makes sense. And I've used because twice. I really like January because it sometimes snows because I also like the sunshine in July. Oh, I know what I've done here too. Do you know what I've done? I've used the wrong conjunction. This should say and, not because. Sometimes we really need to think about what conjunction we use in our sentence to make sure that it makes sense. So let's carry on. I also like the sunshine. Oh, and actually my computer's even given me a clue because it's underlined in red and that tells me that I haven't spelt the word correctly. I've used the wrong I sound here. Oh dear me, I got confused from our phonics last week and got my sounds mixed up. Never mind. I've remembered a capital J for July though. So, I really like January because it sometimes snows and I also like the sunshine. It should be the split diagraph I sound in July. Here it is, year two. I put a question mark at the end of my sentence. This is not a question mark. This is a statement which you learned all about last week. So those are my four mistakes. Well done if you found them. Now it's time for your grammar quiz. Um, it's just asking about what type of words they are. So if you look, what type of word is the word blue? You need to choose if it's a noun, adjective, verb or adverb and so on. Lots of questions like that. Just choosing the correct word type. And then you have some missing words in the sentence. Remember the tip. Read the sentence with, with each of the options, with each of the words, and see which one you think sounds best. I'm sure you're going to do brilliantly. Okay, well done, you two. Have a lovely day.